Pakistan. Uh, I have a question regarding uh, animation. Uh, I, I uh, watched your video previously, which you said that uh, animating anything uh, is haram. Uh, but my question is regarding uh, educational videos on YouTube. So uh, we have to animate, like uh, if you're describing an animal, we have to animate that animal. Or if we're uh, describing anything regarding human uh, human biology, we have to animate the bo human body. Or we have to animate a human teacher to teach the children in the video, just like the advertisements I saw before your show started like 10 minutes ago. Okay. So is that haram or uh, if you can clarify in what the specific uh, conditions is, uh, is it's halal to animate uh, uh, something? Ahmed from Pakistan says, what is the ruling on animation? See, animation, and correct me if I'm wrong, is drawing. And drawing is permissible unless it involves life and by life we mean the spirit the soul so drawing a human being drawing animals drawing what people would look at and th say that this has life in it this is haram so what about using it for educational purposes scholars differed some remained on saying it is haram. Specifically for those who do the actual, actual drawing. The Prophet said in many authentic hadiths that the most severely punished on the day of judgment are those who draw live pictures of humans or animals or fish or birds, etc. And they will be tormented on the day of, uh, on the day of judgment by these characters that they had created. So doing this is sinful. Other group of scholars said that if it's permissible for children to play with dolls, this means that creating such cartoons for children to watch and learn and to be ent entertained by is permissible. And this is their opinion. <laughs> now, I'm inclined to the first opinion, which says that's totally haram. However, <laughs> if you draw a human being without facial features, and this drawing is 2D, not 3D. A 3D is a static. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh peace of the lord to all of you i hope my voice coming good and clear to you please invite friends your friends and uh, please uh, if you listen there's a huge difference between 2d and 3d if you do it 2d and there's no face so listen uh you can uh what about uh, let me give you an idea uh, we can make a cartoon of a dog, but there's no face of a dog. There's no face. No face. Haram. Haram. Just the ass. And we don't make it 3D. 2D. Okay? Maybe that will work. Uh -huh. However, I agree with the Prophet that we have to haram. It's haram. It's forbidden. You will go to hell. You will go to hell, brother. You know? But this idiot, he is sitting in front of the camera. He himself is sitting in front of a camera. So, if making images of something alive is forbidden, aren't you yourself sitting in front of a video camera and you are posting it in YouTube and making money from it? And you charge people $100 for 30 minutes? Consulta private consultation. And what D will make a difference? In the time of Muhammad, it was 2D and 3D. He said there is no images. So the, what the Mohammedan they try to do to get away with the stupidity of this garbage cult, savage, stupid cult, and they try to find a solution. A second ago, he said, let me play from the beginning for those who have a short memory. Don't forget to invite your friends. And if you are a Muslim, please join us. We will open our Skype very soon. Potato cult. 
uh, I, I've uh, watched your video previously, which you said that uh, animating anything uh, is haram. Uh, but my question is regarding uh, educational videos on YouTube. So uh, we have to animate, like uh, if you're describing an animal, we have to animate that animal. Or if you're uh, describing anything regarding human uh, human biology, we have to animate the bo human body. Or we have to animate a human teacher to teach the children in the video, just like the advertisements I saw before your show started like 10 minutes ago. Okay. So is that Ram or uh, if you can clarify in what the specific uh, conditions is, uh, is it's halal to animate uh, uh, something? Ahmed from Pakistan says, what is the ruling on animation? See, animation, and correct me if I'm wrong, is drawing. And drawing is permissible unless it involves life and by life we mean the spirit the soul so drawing a human being drawing animals drawing what people would look at and th say that this has life in it this is haram so what about using it for educational purposes scholars differed some remained on saying it is haram specifically for those who do the actual actual drawing the prophet said in many authentic hadiths that the most severely punished on the day of judgment are those who draw live pictures of humans or animals or notice he said the most severely punished most Arabian Jewish girls, this is not, there's no punishment, this is a reward, you know, this is a good thing. Uh, beating your wife, this is right in Islam, you know, you can beat your wife, chapter 4, verse number 34. Arabian Jewish women kidnapping them, killing them, taking their money, chapter 9, verse 29. Uh, marrying a child, she is 6, 5 years old, 2 years old, it's okay, there's no punishment. Even having sex with your mother, by the way, there's no penalty in Islam for it. But if you draw a picture, of a cat you will receive the most severe punishment what is the crime you draw a cat like you did not draw the cat to worship the cat or no it's just you know fun making cartoon for kids haram haram brother and then you will find always that the Muslims uh, when you ask them a question they will say to you, the scholars, they differ in this issue. This religion is so clear to the point, they agree about not to agree about anything. Go check every Muslim video YouTube. You will find every one of them, he says something different. For the same question. Every one of them, he have different answer. The bent, who is the customers? So the one who is his 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 customers are Western blown people trying to convert them to Islam. They will say, yeah, it's okay, no problem, no problem, you know. Yeah, sure, sure, you know, it's okay, you know. The bent, who is the customer? Islam is for is a is a business for sale. This is why this guy, when before he starts his video, you will see he's asking people to pay him for 30 minutes, 100 dollar private consultation. It's a big business. This guy, he make way more money than any doctor in the world. To tell you, to tell you what? To tell you this, this garbage. That cartoon will take you to hell. Find me one Islamic TV station, including Hamas. They don't have cartoon. <laughs> I mean, those people are really stupid. Can you find me one Islamic country don't have... Actually, if you go right now, open uh, search for an uh, Egyptian movie, a Pakistan movie. Uh, uh, even Taliban. Everything in Islam they say it is forbidden, they do. 
music, singing, dancing, women be dancing, wearing nothing, unbelievable. But remember, drawing a picture of a cat will take you to hell. Continue, continue, shake. Fish or birds, etc. And they will be torment. By the way, why there is no too many, not too many? Shall I close soon? Why we have 742? What happened? Wrong timing? I will stay more 20 minutes. If we don't have a thousand at least, I will go. On the, day of, uh, on the day of judgment, by these characters that they had created. So doing this is sinful. Other group of scholars said that if it's permissible for children to play with dolls, this means that creating such cartoons for children to watch and learn and to be enter entertained. Do, do, do you notice he says it is permissible for children to play with dolls? Do you know why it is? Just because Aisha, the wife of the prophet, she was a baby child and she had dolls in the house of the prophet and she was playing with it. The prophet wife, the wife, she is a baby child playing with her dolls. And that was the reason, because Islam is just a chain of contradiction. How you say you cannot make uh, something look like a human being or an animal or anything, anything in life, not only drawing, dolls is haram, forbidden. But then they find that Muhammad who forbid all those things, Muhammad even he ripped the curtains. He told Ayesha, you cannot put those pictures in the curtains, you cannot put pictures on the pillow. So which one is more horrible? Having dolls, which is the three Ds. Remember he just said, you cannot have three Ds. Well, the dolls are four Ds, not only three Ds. If we go, let us see if we can find the hadith. <laughs> let us see this hadith. The wife of the prophet, the mother of the believers, the five years old girl, which is six according to Islam, because Muslims they use we are drunk, calendar. I was playing with dolls. And by the way, the hadith doesn't say dolls. This is a translation, which is accurate, but it's not correct. It's accurate as a meaning, because Aisha is saying, I was playing with the girls. So Aisha, she have the mentality of a child talking about her dolls as girls. كنت ألعب بالبنات. You see it in black. I was playing with my girls. So now she is the wife of the prophet, and her brain is in the state of maturity for sure. Calling her dolls, my daughters, my girls. This is the wife of Muhammad herself. And all those hadith are accurate, sahih. Here, by the way, it shows you that even the friends of Aisha, they are little girls too. When they see Muhammad, they run and they hide. <laughs> <laughs> you 
So not only Aisha, she is playing with the dolls, which she called them her daughters, even the friends of Aisha, they are so little to the point when they see somebody come into the room, they run and they hide because they are so shy. I used to play with the doors in the presence of the prophet. Look, he's a prophet. I mean, we have to be honest here. The guy, he was sent for a serious mission by Allah. Very serious. He will change the world to the world of terrorism. So I used to play with the doors in the presence of the prophet. And my girlfriend also used to play with me. So her girlfriends are at the same age, you know. <laughs> when Allah messengers used to enter my her room, he used to they used to hide themselves. But the prophet would call them like, "Come on, come on, come here. Where are you? Come here, come here. Okay, come here. Come, come, come from under the bed. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on here. Come on, you know." And then and call them to join and play with me. This is the husband, and this is the wife. Muhammad, he have no problem to have little girl in his bed and he is, excuse my language, if in her. But he have a problem with a drawing, a picture. Haram. It's haram. This is the garbage of Muhammad. Eating pork, haram. Brother, haram. Auzubillah, Having sex with a child is okay. Having a picture, haram. Hmm. Uh, Asim, Asim. What's your name? Aslam, Aslam. Uh, as long as we are talking about dolls, and you are saying to me, so what? This is not my question. My question is, how images is forbidden and those is not because the image is reason to forbid it is because you are making trying to create something uh, present something alive have soul those doors are girls they present a human being so you're a prophet is a hypocrite number two if having pictures or anything like to make a body of something living being is forbidden Islam. Why the doll is okay? Because Muhammad wife she is plain. And how in the world this man he justify having a child as a wife, but he see that a huge sin, big sin, if you draw an image of a rabbit. We heard the Sheikh saying that Muhammad said the most severe punishment is to the person who draw an image. And as long as we are talking about dolls, how come it's not haram for a Muslim woman to use sex dolls? Isn't it sex dolls represent something alive? So when the fatwa says that a Muslim woman, she can use a detached penis of a donkey or an animal or a dead man, and it is halal. Or she make a penis of leather or anything in the shape of a penis. Remember, you are the one who mentioned the word doll for me. You remind me now. And if you don't, if you do there, call me. So this religion making a picture of a rabbit is haram, will take you to hell. But the woman, she cut in the penis of a donkey and she is doing it for her, for her. Uh, I mean, how in the world she do it? It says there, detached penis of a dead animal or a human. So what you will notice about this cult, if we can call it even a cult, that it's the most awkward 
sexual, stupid. Muhammad, he is trying to be conservative. So he learned from the Jews that the Jews, they forbid the statues, etc. So Muhammad trying to copy the Jews. But because this guy is an idiot, he copy everything wrong. And if you are a man who can prove you wrong, I will open my Skype so you can call me. Anything we say here, we prove it. We don't say things here just for saying things. We are not the same as Muslims. Two Muslims, they open their program, their chat. Brother, the Bible is corrupt, brother. <laughs> yes, brother. <laughs> the Christian, they have many Bible. We have many translation. We don't have many Bible. It's you who have many Quran. Which Quran you read? In fact, you don't have you have zero Quran. Who ate my Quran? The goat. You know, I like I find it funny that people are texting me in Skype. They want to teach me what to say about Islam. Are you serious? Like here, there's we have a brother here texting me. He says, CP, without saying the name. Oh, no, he is not teaching me, sorry. Because usually I see some text that is asking me a question. My friend, you can ask in the chat. Don't ask me in the... In the uh, I thought he is teaching me. That would be hilarious. I mean, at some time you, you, you get those... Uh, uh, messages saying to UCP, if a, if a Muslim says this, says this to him. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. <laughs> so the question is, as long as he sent it, CP, what would you say if a Muslim says 65-4 cannot be talking about little girls because it says women? Nisa'akum. Uh, 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 so the, the, he's saying that the Muslim, when you show them chapter 65, verse number 4, it's about divorcing children. They say, no, it says women. Well, for them, Nisa'akum, present your wives. As you see, Muhammad's wife, she is six years old, and she is Nisa. So in Islam, the word Nisa present the gender, even though in language it should not just present the gender. But if Muhammad himself, he married a child, she is six years old. So you should tell them, isn't it Aisha, she was Nisa too? And she was six years old. And the verse is so clear, it says, those who never have their period because they are so young. Anyway, Muslims always do try to get away with things, but not with us. If you are a Muhammadan, you would like to join us, please feel free. And if you are a Christian, please don't text me in Skype. And Muslims, they have tons of TV stations. None of them speak about something useful. What is the benefit of this program? What is the benefit? If there is any benefit? There is no benefit. A frog. Do you want to hear what Islam says about a frog? Islam involved in everything is stupid. People, they arrive to Mars and the Muslims, they are busy with drawing a rabbit. Tell us about the frog, brother. What about other amphibious animals such as frogs, for example? Well, frogs is not an issue of being a sea creature or an amphibious uh, creature there is a specific ruling for that because the prophet specific ruling inhibited their killing okay and why whatever the prophet prohibits killing then it becomes haram to eat and consume why why a man came to the Prophet yeah. and he was a doctor. Really? 
So he said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, we use frog meat in our medication. So the Prophet denied him and prohibited him from killing frogs. Listen to the wisdom now. Why? And in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said that, I don't know what you call the sound of frogs, but the sound of the frogs is tasbih. It's praising Allah Azza wa Jal. <laughs> it's glorifying Allah Azza wa Jal. So the Prophet <laughs> prohibited killing it, alayhi salatu wassalam. Guys, the Prophet forbid killing the frog because the frog pray to Allah. Why the frog should not so be killed? What about other like, you know, the Muslim, by the way, they make articles fooling people, give them false reasoning. As an example, they will say to you, do you know that the Prophet, he said, when you sneeze, put your hand over your mouth. When we have Corona, we have this guy, Sabila ah 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 Ahmed, the coward. Hey, brothers and sisters, uh, the Prophet is the first one who taught us how to fight Corona. Like, what the heck? Uh, he said, when you sneeze, uh, put your hand, you know, okay. but, but he will not read the rest. Muhammad, he said, because when you sneeze, when you, sorry, when you do yawning, shaitan jump in your mouth. So it was not for Corona and not for diseases. They will not read the second part for you. And now if you are a hippie, Hmm? Let us say you are from those who color their hair blue, red. You have no, you have ring in your nose, which is weird, look like a cow. Hmm? You have ring in your belly button, ring in your penis, ring in your vagina. You have ring everywhere. I don't know how you can go through the airport. And now they look at you, they want to convert you to Islam. So what they will say to you, Prophet, you love animals. Yes, bro. Do you know that the Prophet forbid killing frogs? Really? He is so sensitive for blood and killing. He'd hate it. He loved animals. He knew how much important frogs are for society. A scientific study by a scientist from Japan. His name Yama Aidu Lai Yama Suzuki Toyota Honda. Very well known. Check his name. Big professor. He said that the reason we have control over environment in the world of mosquitoes is Mrs. Frog. So brother, imagine how the Prophet of Allah he knew this 1400 years ago. How he knew. So now the Prophet, he discovered that the frog, when they make the voice of a frog, wow, 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 wow. Once there was a, a frog in my window, I get out here, he run away. I mean, I can't sleep. This guy just on the edge of my window. I go back to bed, he go there. So I went outside, I said, please, for the sake of the sin of Allah, go pray to Allah in a different place, man. I mean, this frog, he decided to come to my window, keep saying Allah, Allah, Allah. If there is anyone here, he have a brain from those Muhammadan who question really what Muhammad say, who dare to question? So now the frog, Mr. 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 Frog, Whoa, he whole... is worshiping Allah. Who in the world don't believe in such a garbage? But I think it's time to do a scientific study. Shall we? Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, I just heard Allah. Unbelievable. <laughs> This guy is saying Muhammad. Oh, this guy he is saying the the whole chapter of a, a cow chapter. What the heck is that? All of this? Thank God you are not my neighbor. I mean, this guy he have a very weird voice. 
So the frog is it praising Allah? Where you Muslims get your knowledge from? Well, from Prophet Muhammad, that's it. But the doctor, he said, okay, we need it for medicine. Which one is more important? Okay, what about the rooster? Isn't it your prophet, he says, when you hear the rooster, that because he is praising God and he saw an angel? So why you eat roosters? A Muslim saying to me, talking donkey in the Bible. That's a good one, my friend. In fact, in the Bible, it doesn't say that the donkey is talking, but I can show you the hadith of your prophet speaking to his donkey. In the Bible, it says that the sound, the man he was walking, and God want to warn him, the angel want to warn this man. He heard the sound. So God made the sound come from the mouth of the donkey. The donkey is not talking. But in your prophet's story, your prophet, he have a conversation with the donkey. His name is Yafur. And he said to him, and I quote, Do you like female Yafur? The donkey responds to his Muslim donkey. Oh, 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 I don't like females. Have you ever heard of a donkey? He is a gay. Call me and I will show you. Actually, I made a cartoon about it. The donkey of a prophet of Allah, Ya'fur. Even when your prophet, for the first time he is speaking to an animal, what is the question is about his penis. I mean, why in the world a human being, look, I will be happy to talk to animals. To be able to communicate with that would be amazing to understand what animals are saying that would be very beyond amazing so now muhammad he was able to talk to his donkey and the first question and the only question he asked him if he liked females i mean what come to his head he think that donkeys don't like females and how in the world that this donkey made by allah for 60 prophets and he is the last donkey of the family. And he is the one who don't like females. For the brother who is saying about Indonesia, talking crap about etc. My friend, I saw your text. What they will say? What I will say? Indonesia? Is it the same garbage everywhere? Like, is it different in Indonesia? Go challenge the Muslim sheikhs in Indonesia to come and debate me. Don't flood the text. Those Muslim sheikh in Indonesia, they cannot even say the name of their prophet correctly, and they make a lot of money from it. It's a business. So the frog, he is praying to Allah. Other amphibious animals, such as frogs, for example. Well, frogs is not an issue of being a sea creature or an amphibious uh, creature there is a specific ruling for that because the prophet والسلام, prohibited their killing and whatever the prophet والسلام, prohibits killing then it becomes haram to eat and consume that's it a man lucky you frog lucky you i mean when you haven't eat it like this it's your luck. So now the frog is saved from the hand of every Abdul in the world. Ah, Muhammad made a statement, that's it. Frogs are safe. Just one, one, one sentence. That's it. Muhammad says so. Who dare to, to touch the frog? Do you? But if you go to Indonesia, you will find a lot of Muslims eating frogs. Just go watch in the videos, you will see Muslims buying frogs, selling frogs, big ones. And they call them banana, orang, orang. Which means like orang, orang, means like a lot, a lot, you know, tasty, you know, orang, orang. 
as you know, I speak uh, Indonesian. You know, I uh, I never been in Indonesia, by the way, but I watched a, a, a three minute video of Indonesian people talking, and I noticed that you repeat the word twice. That will make it like something uh, uh, like special. Uh, so, like now, I say uh, this uh, shake is donkey donkey. Uh, in Indonesia, that will make it like smart smart. You know. So if you say it once, it means donkey. If you say it twice, that means he's a donkey smart, like smart smart, you know, like extra. So uh, tell us, tell us, okay, what happened? Came to the Prophet والسلام, and he was a doctor. Mm -hmm. So he said, oh, Prophet of Allah, we use frog meat in our medication. So the Prophet denied him and prohibited him from killing frogs. Mm. And in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said that, I don't know what you call the sound of frogs. What you call it? What you call it? But the sound of Joe Biden is tasbih. It's praising Allah Azza wa Ah, praising Allah. Allah Azza wa yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Who can deny this? Let us be honest. Nobody. Muslims, they have a specialties with animals. Another story. Um, um, Aisha, says, Aisha, can you please explain the hadith about why we should kill the house lizard? First of all, the house lizard I think they call it salamander or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, the, the house lizard is an insect. Is an insect. An insect that is... I'm telling you, if you want to learn science, if you want to learn science, the best place to learn science is Muslims and Islam. The house lizard is an insect. If they say to you, Somewhere, somehow, some school, some stupid professor, it is not an insect. Tell him to shut up because the Prophet Muhammad, police be upon him, identify it as an insect. And there's many proof of that. As an example, me, myself, I went to Mexico and I met with a lizard. I asked him, what's your name? He said, Senor, Insecto. How you explain to me that? The first lizard I met in Mexico, like I met one in Arizona. It was a female. I asked her, what's your name? But for me, I do not know if she's a female or not, because you know, they are naked, but you can not see their private part. It's been you know, hiding. It's hard to see, not for me. So I asked this lizard, it turned to be a female. So I asked her, what's your name? She said, Insecta. Like, what the heck? So I go to Mexico, I met a lizard, and his name is Insecto. I go to Arizona, I met a lizard, his name is Insecta. How do you explain that to me? And then I asked like, like the, the very serious question, what's wrong with them? And then they explain. I mean, why they are Insecto, Insecta? I mean, this is the only name. They said that they had a prophet, for the lizard, his name is insect. And since then, all the lizard they call their children's insecto or insecta based on their gender. Like Muslims, you know, they call Muhammad, Muhammad, Ahmad, Muhammad. Everybody is Muhammad. How the Prophet knew this? We have to be careful that there is must be a divine source of information. There's somebody saying, I am a Catholic and I respect Palestine. My friend, you are not a Catholic, you are a piece of shit and you are a liar. In case you do not know, the Catholic is the one who did the crusade and they taught Muhammad and his Mujahideen 
how to behave. So they'll play a different game here. You make like, Yeah, you are a frog who worship Allah. Don't play the game here with us. We laugh at you. Same time, those are there are not Palestinian. Those are Arab. Go ask them. Are you an Arab? They will say yes. Since when the Arab are the Palestinian? So why you call them Palestinian if they are Arab? Are you stupid? Yes, you are. You do not know the difference between Palestinian and Arab. Go check history, you idiot. Potato, tomato. We fry you here. Portugal with me. Against who? Macy's? <laughs> Welcome from Portugal, my friend. God bless you. Yeah, you know, they try to divide us, by the way. The game of a Protestant and Orthodox is just to divide you. And I know there's some Christians, supposedly they are Christians, but they are dummy. They fuel the division without mentioning names. Don't be stupid. Any division between us is for the benefit of the followers of Hamas. They use you until they conquer the enemy and then they will conquer you next. Hamas is the one who came all the way and they took Europe before. The same organization, nothing new. The same one, the Catholic, they kicked them out from Spain. We are not stupid. Different name doesn't make you different people, doesn't make you different religion. When you occupy Spain and the Catholic in Spain wipe the floor with you and they clean the earth from your dirt. They took their land. And guess what? The Muslim, they claim that Spain is their land now. They take your land. They occupy your land. They rape your women. They change the name of the country. They change the language. They change the, the, the culture. They change the, the religion. And then they claim that this is their land. This is the truth. Turkey is not Turkey. This is the land of Greece, Armenia, Syria, and Kurdish. Zero centimeter of it belong to so-called Turkish. Zero. Istanbul is not Istanbul. They took the city, they took the churches, they took the whole thing, they, fought, they killed all the men, they raped the women, and now everybody is blonde. And they changed the name of the city. And they claim now this is their land. And they make a speech about colonism. They make a speech about colony. The West is a colonizing and disgusting and Israel is taking the land of other people when they, it is the opposite. It's them who took the land of everybody. This is reality, my friend. And here we fry you. You can't lie to those stupid Western, to those liberals. I am from there. Don't you know I am an Arab, you idiot? We have all your laundry. I have all your laundry. You took the land of the Jews and now you want to kill the Jews and you will claim that they are occupying your land. When you strip the Quran, in the strip the Quran, in the yellow page of Muhammad saying that this is the land of the Jews, in chapter 5, verse number 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, in fact, in this chapter Quran, when the Jews refused to kill the ones who was living there, Allah, He punished them and He made them severely lose their way in the desert for 40 years. In your chapter Quran. And you know, you notice that all those people who debate Muslims, in many shows, nobody mentioned this. This is why the Muslims, they accept to debate those people because they are ignorant. Like they bring Mimi Hijab and a rabbi who say, do you know what a rabbi says? He says, Islam is beautiful. This is how stupid this rabbi is. Muslims, they choose carefully who they will debate with. The stupid rabbi said, Islam, how are you going to debate the Muslim to show them how stupid, hypocrite? They brought a business hypocrite rabbi. 
Islam is a beautiful and he is the one who slaughtered your people in the city of Medina, which is was Yathrib. Look at this is an example, by the way, about the colony of Muhammad. He come as an immigrant to the city of Yathrib, which is a Jewish city. The Jewish, they welcomed him because they were stupid. And later he slaughtered them all and he took the city and he changed the name of the city, changed the origin of the city. Facts. Anyone will attack the Catholic, I will, I will, I will put you under my shoe. Both of them, they have rosary. You are a stupid donkey. Don't you know that the rosary in the Bible, you donkey? Don't you know that the rosary, the angel, they say to her, Mary, blessed you, Mary. Those are fake. Those are Christians. Those are Muslims. Those are donkeys who they attack. So there's two, there's many donkeys, by the way. They attack Catholic and they attack Protestant, but they don't know even what Catholic believe and what Christian be, uh, Protestant believe. Those are stupid who attack the rosary. The Catholic asking Mary to pray for them. What's wrong with that? Isn't you asking everybody pray for oh, brother? Pray for me. And the rosary, you idiot. It is in the Bible. It is the angels who say to Mary, "Bless you, Mary, between the women." Donkey. And the Muslims, they have rosary? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Be aware of liars and fraud who try to divide you. Here, we don't have any place for division. All of you, the one who want to divide us is under our feet. And we are victorious by Jesus. Here, we are united with the Messiah. And you are united with the devil. Any person who live in, believe in Christ, the Messiah said, whoever believe in me and I will live. Don't listen to those people. They are working, serving the devil. They fight over nothing. They debate over nothing. For they are nothing. Focus with me on the topic. I don't want to see anyone saying I'm a Catholic or I'm Protestant. Otherwise, I will send you free shipping and hand it to Allah. Remember my rules. Here, there's no Catholic. There's no Protestant. There's no Orthodox. You like it, like it, you stay. You don't like it, get out. Here, there's the Christians only. Take your devil and leave. Last warning. The Muslims actually, they enjoy seeing the stupid ones of you fighting. This is why they come with fake names and they spread the vision. And in two seconds, the fire is up because many donkeys, they claim to be Christians. Just tell them, I'm a Catholic, I'm Protestant, right away they are in different galaxy. You are the same as Muslims. Hateful. Disgusting. Following Muhammad, actually. The Quran in chapter 5, verse number 14 says, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. This is in the Quran. This is not me saying that. And whoever spread the vision between the Christians, he is serving the devil Allah. Idiots. You know what idiot mean? You think you are defending the faith? In fact, you are not. My friend, I saw your text about Uthman. I mean, come on, who cares what this guy say? That's it, we need to do it. I'm talking about something. That's it, now you're stuck with Uthman, hadith number 5000, that's it. You will not turn the pump in the chat until I answer you? All the Christians are my brothers and sisters. Whoever believe in me, in me. You know what me mean? Who is me? The Messiah. 
not the Pope, not a priest, not a Protestant, not Orthodox. If you think you are saved because you belong to a church name, you are a donkey. Certified one. And your tail is so long. You will be saved only if you follow the Messiah only. Men are corrupt. Men are sinners. Men are liars. So when you follow a priest, you are following a sinner, you idiot. How a sinner can save you? How his opinion matter? What matter is what Jesus said. Be careful. Be aware of false teachers. They will come to you in a clothes of sheep, but they are wolves. Never listen to me. Listen to what Jesus said. For me, myself, I'm a sinner. And only stupid people, they take what a sinner say over what God say. We go back to our topic. And I advise you not to join any channel. Doesn't matter if it's a Protestant or Catholic who divide us. Don't go there. They are just doing hatred. We are fighting the devil and they are busy dividing us so the Mohammedan can conquer you. As simple as that. It is the truth. Let us go back to Mr. Lizard. What the problem with the lizard in Islam? The house lizard. First of all, the house lizard, I think they call it salamander or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, the, the house lizard is an insect, an insect that is harmful. Some of it cause a lot of diseases uh -huh. and some say that it intends to walk over the food and the, the drinks and to poo where it puts a lot of its illnesses and diseases in people's food so in general it is a dangerous do you see how evil the lizard is the lizard go to your kitchen he see your dish, he spread his leg, he take off her panty, he unzip his thing and he get his penis. And then he start doing poo poo over your food. And then the poor you, you come. You are a good Muslim who pray to Allah, who you kill only Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhists, only. And you marry children, which is halal, but you never eat pork. Good person like you. And now you are targeted inside your house by a terrorist who is a lizard. Can you believe it? Do you see that we Muslims are victims? Conspiracy against us. Did you notice that lizard, they will not poo or pee in dish of anyone he is a Hindu? Even though in India there's a lot of Hindus. And by the way, I discovered in India there's a lot of Indian too which is strange. How come this lizard come and do that only to Muslims? It's revenge, brother. It's hatred. They hate people who follow the Prophet of Allah. They hate it. Creature that only brings harm to the people in general. And if you notice that anything that is harmful, Islam tells us to kill. That's it. So Islam tells us to kill a wild dog that bites and attacks people. Ah, liar, it tells us liar. To Actually, tomorrow I'm going to post a video about those animals, just wait. As you see the title here, I say present what I was going to, but the, but the video is not ready. Tomorrow I will talk about your prophet. He command to kill all dogs, not the dogs who bite you, coward liar. To kill all dogs. I mean, do you see how they lie?
the prophet commanded to kill dogs who they are biting. Are you sure? Let me see if I can find that you know a video made by him himself, and I'm sure there is. <laughs> you know those people they uh, uh, they forget or they forgot what they say. They have a very short memory, very short memory. This is the same guy. Remember, it says here, PayPal me, Asim Al Hakim, $100 half hour. Do you see it? Very decent. It's a charity job. He's just helping people, you know. Uh, Sheikh, is the pure black dog a devil? And is this the type of dog that nullifies our prayer? Jazakumullah for Khairan. The Prophet, والسلام, in the beginning, stated that three things interpret and breaks our prayer. The passing of a woman, an adult, and the passing of a donkey, and the passing of a dog. How many Muslim ladies here? Just to let you know, I will put a sign next to me, says, dogs and donkeys and women are not allowed to walk in front of me because three of you are equal and you defiled my prayer. Did you hear it? Did I say that? Three animals, according to Muhammad. Muhammad, he sees women as an animal. And she is goes in the category of dogs and donkeys. Did I say that? in the beginning stated that three things interpret and break Aiden. the Prophet والسلام, in the beginning stated that three things interpret and breaks our prayer the passing of a woman an adult and the passing of a donkey and the passing of a dog and in the beginning of Islam, when the Prophet came to Medina, والسلام, he instructed all the companions to kill all dogs. And after... Did you hear it? Did he just say to kill all dogs? Did he just say the Prophet instructed to kill all dogs? In the other video, he says he commanded us to kill dogs who bite. Listen carefully. Kill all dogs. When the Prophet came to Medina, والسلام, he instructed all the companions to kill all dogs. See? And after some time, he told them to stop. Do you know why? Because people start complaining. We need dogs to guard us, to guard our sheep, to guard our animals. Muhammad is an idiot. So in the beginning, he command to kill all dogs. But look what he said in the previous video. He said to kill dogs. What is the video? Who they are biting. <laughs> what? This is not what Muhammad said. So Islam tells us to kill a wild dog that bites and attacks people. See? They lie. It tells us to kill mice because they spread all types of ah, like what terrorism in Paris in Christmas market what mice do they drive their cars over a bunch of people doing shopping they come from their car and they start shooting people in the bus station they put a bomb in a church like what happened last night which is daytime in Philippines. A beautiful Muslim, he put a bomb in a church, a prayer inside the university. 
He missed the location, right? He, he don't. He was going for hunt. He said to himself, "Let us hunt some Christians." This is the most disgusting, silly cult ever. They have no problem with killing humans. And now even animals, they are going after them. The lizard is dangerous. What the lizard did. Diseases. Plague is one of they are most infamous for. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and also they cause fire in houses. As in the, play, in, in the hadith of the Prophet, it tells us. The Prophet told us the mice cause fire. Actually, most of calls come from the fire department because, you know, the mice, they come to you. You see, this is why I will never make a mice angry for me. You make him angry, he come to the fireplace, he takes some fire and he go around, you know, he make a cigarette, you know, like, you know, if, if you know, like, if, okay, this is why you're not in the cartoon. I saw them in the cartoon. Listen, listen, you might think that this is not true. I saw them in the cartoon smoking. How do you explain that to me? Who is the one who made this picture? Don't tell me now the Muslim they make it to make the prophet tell the truth. It's true. They do it on purpose. Very evil creatures. And those Christians, they are in denial. They don't want to believe just because Muhammad said it. If somebody else said it, they will believe it. Tell us more, brother. Thank you for the information about biology and, you know, the animal world. Things we never heard before, but we are learning. A wild dog that bites and attacks people. It tells us to kill mice because they spread all types of diseases. Yeah, especially when they have sex with a human. I heard too that most of sexual disease are coming from mice. You know? Like you are sleeping, you have no idea what's going on. This is why Prophet Muhammad he forbid Muslims to sleep in their belly. Why? Because if you sleep in your belly, the mice you will see a hole. A hole. What he would do? He would start digging. Diggy, diggy, diggy. You woke up in the morning, you find yourself something wrong happened to you. And then you get sick because he put his uh, sperm there. Hey, by the way, Muslims, why Prophet of Allah, he forbid Muslims from sleeping in their belly? Anyone can give us an answer? Is it true that shaitan, he will F you if you sleep on your stomach? Is it? Look, Islam is not superstition. It's not stupid religion. No, everything is true. Everything is serious. I mean, everything is sponsored by facts, man. How many people they sleep in their belly and they lose their virginity from that location? Just face it. It happened every day. Prophet Muhammad, he put his nose in everywhere, including your anus. And now his nose is in the lizard and the mice. Dr. Muhammad, he knew everything. Imagine if Muhammad was exist right now. He will have the biggest channel in YouTube and he will be teaching us about, about all kinds of form of scientific miracles. That bites and attacks people. It tells us to kill mice because they spread all types of diseases. Plague is one of the are most infamous for. And also they cause fire in houses as in the play in, in the hadith of the prophet it tells us mice do heinous things though people nowadays are so fond of them <laughs> stupid we're people. told to kill the cross the cross even the cross they want to kill him. Crow that uh -huh. also carries diseases and eats uh, uh, dead meat 
This is not the reason they kill him. He is lying. It's just because he's black. Muhammad, he says, Kull aswadin bahim. Kill every pure black. It's not only about the, uh, the, the crowd, any, any animal. It is totally pure black. You kill it. Muhammad, he told them that the animals who they are black, they are Satan. For his very faith, he racist. Even for him, the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a black man and he is a Satan. Even for Muhammad, he said the most man Allah he hate is a black man. Am I lying? My Skype is open. Dare to call if you dare. We're ordered to kill snakes. We're ordered to kill scorpions. Uh, Mr. Sauce, you're trying to contact me, my friend. My Skype is on. What's your name in Skype? Let us see. We have somebody here saying you keep fooling people. Is that you? <laughs> A Muslim saying to me, I keep fooling people. Hello? Hello. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. You said I am fooling. You are a liar. You are a liar. Why? What All is? All your women belongs to us. Oof, you oof, oof. Islam. Islam will meet you in your bedroom. Uh, Islam will meet do, every one of you. Do you, know, do you know the story of your prophet All wife? Do you know the story of your prophet wife? She left your prophet and she joined a Christian man. Is it true that your prophet wife herself, she went in the lap of a Christian man and she left your prophet? Listen, listen, I can convert to Islam now. I can have your wife to do muta with her. You are, you are just shut up, son of a whore. You, your women belong to us. Your women don't even belong to you. You exchange women like toys. I can convert to Islam right now for two days and have your sister and divorce her second day. Cheap people. Your wives, all your women belong to us. You cannot even defend yourself, you coward. When ISIS came to you, you call us. When Al Qaeda came to you, you call us. When Iran come to you, you call us. It's our patriot protecting your stupid Kaaba. Your countries don't even have weapon. You can't even make a bullet. When Erdogan decided to make an industry for weapon, he started buying parts and he hired people from Korea, people from here and there to put an airplane together. And then he claimed he had an airplane. We know you. A person who follow a prophet, he allow his wife to do muta, is not a man. And Islam will come to my bedroom. Islam already in my bedroom. Just look under the bed. You will find my shoes. Islam will come to your bedroom. In fact, your prophet, he said that the judgment day will not come until the Roman, they will become the majority of mankind. You ask the Muslims, who is the Roman? They will say the Christians. And what else he said? He said the Muslims, and Islam will scroll back to its hole like a snake, will shrink. Even he said that the Kaaba, nobody will visit it, except dogs. Are you denying what your prophet said? Either you deny it, and that will make me laugh at your prophet, or you accept what you just said to me, and that will make you laughable. Uh, somebody saying how should the Arabic Christians call God in their language if it's not Allah first of all there is nothing called Allah for us as a God those who they are living under uh, Muslims occupation for a long time they are under the influence and the threat of Islam I don't agree with them to use that word this is disgusting this is very pagan 
practice and we are wrong. If you want to know what words we use, go open the Old Testament and the New Testament in the original language. Neither you will find the word Allah or anything from what they use today. We have tons of words. Now we do not know what word we use. You never heard of the Bible saying Elohim. You never heard of the Bible saying uh, Yahweh. You never heard of the Bible saying uh, many names. Now we do not know what to use. But anyway, I'm glad that this coward, he called me to tell us he want to take your women. Did you receive the message? Islam is so decent to the point they want to take your women. Did you hear it, people? Are you blind? And then the stupid Western, they join those cowards in the street to support those people who want to take your women against Israel. Is it me who said, or it's him, and you heard him? Do you see how stupid people are? Those are stupid in the West who are supporting so-called Hamas or Palestine, they don't know that those people, they want to take your women, your children, your house, and you will be their slave. This is their dream. And the only thing is stopping them that they are very weak, potatoes. Each time they grow somewhere, we have to burn the weeds. This is what we did in Iraq. This is what we did in Syria. This is what we did everywhere. It's weeds, ugly weeds. And now your Hamas, your coward son of Muta, the one who called me, is under our feet, literally. Where is your head? You show up your head when there's women alone in the house and men, they have no weapon. You coward, you kidnap even a kid. His name is Jimmy. What you did with Jimmy Hamas? Did you have intercourse with Jimmy? Or Jimmy have intercourse with you? And look, all of them. How many they are, they claim they are almost 1.6 billion. In fact, they are not even one. But I don't think even they count 600 million who believe. Not even 100 million, actually. Not one Islamic country dare to announce war on Israel. Subdued, paying jizya. Cowards. So what they do? They go and attack a woman she is doing shopping coward like your prophet and actually those incident even though they are bad they help us to see why islam is satanic because there's many people they are idiots stupid still they believe that islam there's a good islam and there's a bad islam but reality is islam what muhammad taught and what muhammad taught is what this guy said muhammad he said to his men attack the romans so you can get the blonde girls Am I lying? Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. He did not say attack the Roman to spread Islam. He said attack the Roman to get the blondie girls. A Muslim was waiting there. He said to him, Prophet, why you are tempting us with women, man? What Muhammad did, he called this man. He is a fake Muslim. He is a hypocrite. The man who refused to go to war for the sake of getting a blondie woman, Muhammad, he accused him. And not only that, he made a verse about him in the Quran. Can you believe what kind of a scumbag this person is? He said to him, why you are tempting us with women to go to war? He did not give them a good reason. Why we want to find the Roman? They did not attack us. They did not fight us. For the sake of women? Yes, for the sake of women. For this is a garbage cult. 
and you heard him. Islam is a curse. And those who don't pay attention, they will pay the price. Let us continue with the video. And the one who keeps saying, let us debate about this, about that, just text me in Skype. Don't play like a kid. Otherwise, I will block you. You want to debate? Just call. As you see, even this potato, he was able to call. So what was stopping you? Let us go back to the lizard. Peace be upon him. Where is the lizard story? Islam not only savage, Islam not only from cave time, Islam is dangerous. Will put your brain on the shelf. It will delete your brain. Tell us what happened. Why we have to kill the jihad against the lizard? In houses, as in the, play, in, in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, it tells us, mice do heinous things. Heinous. Though people nowadays are so fond of them. We're told to kill the cross, a craw that also carries diseases and eats uh, uh, dead meat. We're ordered to kill snakes. We're ordered to kill scorpions. And these, by nature, are harmful mm -hmm. for people. So killing them is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Likewise with the house lizards. And there is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari where the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire. See? With the exception of the house lizard. It Brother and sister, can you believe it? There's a king, he tried to burn Prophet Abraham. He put him in a fire. All the animals. Did you hear? All the animals in the world. They come from everywhere in the purpose to stop the fire on a prophet Abraham. How beautiful. The United States nations of animals from everywhere. They forgot about their differences, about the food they eat, about religion. They forget about their discrimination. The tiger, he eat the sheep. The lion, he killed the tiger. They forgot about their enmity, hatred. The monkey, he come from the jungle. He have a banana in his, his hand. The kangaroo, he came from Australia. The deer, even the pig. Even the unicorn, the bear, the koala, all animals in the world, brothers and sisters, they come to fight and stop the fire on a prophet Abraham, who a filthy king trying to kill him. Brothers and sisters, how Prophet Muhammad knew this information, unless he is a prophet of God. The animals, they were fighting, jumping in the top of the fire to stop the fire. Even the gorilla, he wasn't the top actually, I was there. 
Actually, this is a big chart. They took it. By Reuters, very well known news agency. Animals, they came from everywhere. I can't describe for you how beautiful it was that day. Me, myself, I was crying, not because I was cutting onion. No. It was very beautiful. Chimpanzees were excited. What this guy is doing? I'm not sure. The rooster. Birds, pigs. Even pigs they came. I thought pigs is very dirty, filthy. Even puppies. Not a single animal in this earth did not join to stop the fire. I remember one female cow, Muslim, wearing hijab. May Allah bless her. She came with a lot of water. Even this guy. You see animals coming from everywhere, even ones we do not know what they are. Even fish, they come from the sea. Big nose, small nose. How you can explain that? All they are coming to save Prophet Abraham from the fire. Maybe we have a Muslim, let us see. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Okay, well, I will hang up on you if you don't talk. All right, take a hike. So, brothers and sisters, how Prophet Muhammad he knew those information? How he knew this story? How he got documentation for things? It's impossible for him to know. This is go back all the way to the time of Abraham. Brother, tell us more of the truth about those heroes, animals who come from everywhere to stop the fire, except one insect. One insect. Her name is Lizard. That also carries diseases and eats uh, uh, dead meat. We're ordered to kill snakes. We're ordered to kill scorpions. And these, by nature, are harmful for people. So killing them is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Likewise with the house lizards. Mm -hmm. And there is a hadith. Yeah. In Sahih al Bukhari, take a nap. Where the Prophet told us mm -hmm. that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire, with the exception of the house lizard. It used to try to. No sound? Hold on. You're saying no sound? Oh, sorry, sorry. The sound is low. All right, all right. Let me play it from the beginning. You missed nothing. No, don't worry. Don't worry. We will play it again. Don't worry. So fond of them. We're told to kill the crows. A crow that also carries diseases and eats uh, uh, dead meat. We're ordered to kill snakes. Mm -hmm. We're ordered to kill scorpions, and these, by nature, are harmful very, very, for people. I so know. killing them 
is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Legitimate. Likewise with the house lizards. Yeah. And there is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari where the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, mm -hmm. was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all mm -hmm. the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire with the exception of the house lizard. Disgusting. It used to try to blow so that the fire would grow. Look at the poetry. Look at the sense of a humor. He blow so the fire can grow. How you can deny such an amazing language, Prophet Muhammad, he said. How Prophet Muhammad, he can put those two words together. So now we have all the animals in the world coming to stop the fire versus one lizard. Who will win? All animals, including elephants, crocodile, lions, tigers, versus a lizard. I mean, the story, by the way, it makes a lot of sense. Think about it. A trillion animals coming from everywhere to stop the fire on Abraham. And there is one brave insect. It's called lizard. He called it insect, right? The lizard is stood in front of the lion, the elephant, the crocodile says, you over my dead body, you cannot stop the fire on Abraham. The animals they struggle. They said, what the heck? And they start thinking, why he's so brave? I mean, don't see we have a million elephant, a billion lion, tigers, wolves, foxes, dogs, crocodiles, all is coming. Unite the front. To stop the fire, yet this crazy lizard he stood in front of us with no fear how you can explain that story one lizard uh, look by the way i was thinking about this i said how come this only one lizard i mean what about the rest of the family And then I said to myself, maybe at that time there was only one lizard. He don't have anybody. It was only one. It looked like he was so powerful. And you are telling me that there is some people will not convert to Islam. What's wrong with you? This is what the potatoes of Hamas believe in. This idiot Muhammad is their prophet. The same story is not even qualified to tell to convince a kid is six years old. Those are the ones who you bring them to university to teach about the religion. They believe in this garbage. A billion animals coming to stop the fire on one lizard. And look at the face of the sheikh, he's so sad. We have to give him a credit. Do you see how his face? Put yourself in his shoes, he's a Muslim. And he sees such an ugly attack. They want to burn a good Muslim. How you feel, Sheikh? That is very shaky. I can't believe that this is even happening. Look at him, depressed with the story. By the way, 
Do you think that the IDF right now, they are using the same lizard family? Just to show you how stupid this cult is. They say in Islam, and I want you to take a note carefully about what I will say, very important. The Muslim, they say to you when they debate about Christianity, they say, why somebody will die for the sin of somebody else? Is it what they say? Why somebody will die for the sin of somebody else? They are killing lizard because he's a grand, 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 father. A funny story about trying to burn Abraham. Are you seeking revenge from his kids, babies? Are you saying that to me that the lizard, they are descended from Adam and Eve too? Like they have one Adam, one Eve, and you know, all of them they are family, like the same guy. If you are a Muslim who believe in those stories, I will be happy to hear you. I'm really convinced that Allah Prophet is Allah Prophet. My microphone was not working. Okay, let's give him a try. Supposedly he fixed his microphone now, so we will see. I silenced the speaker so it doesn't bother you guys until he answer. The Skype sound is really annoying, but we have no choice. Answer, answer, I'm calling you. Oh. He's not, he's not answering. Let us try again. Hello?